welcome back to my channel. It's great to see you guys again. I'm back from the shave. So today, I'm gonna be using a soap that was given to me, actually I bought at one of the last shave meetups I went to. And it's new to me, but it's probably been out for about a year or so. And it is called this, which is A&E or Ariana Evans uh, SoCal so Hipster. So this, I believe, was the soap made for the uh, so Southern Cal Shape Meetup around the time last year, maybe maybe last year or this year, early this year, but definitely, definitely looking forward to trying this out. And this is a very, very nice soap from right here. And as you can tell, it hasn't been used yet, so definitely this will be the first use of this soap for myself. And my razor of choice for my shave is gonna be my let me get this out real quick. All right, so you guys can see that. It's gonna be my my vintage Gillette new and improved razor from 1920. So this is a vintage razor that I picked up uh, probably quite about a couple years ago from a from an antique shop, and it, it has a gold finish made out of brass, and it is a two piece razor. Actually, it's a three-piece, but I'll show you why it's three-piece, but it was primarily a two-piece razor because the top cap comes off. Oh, let's try to get this thing going again, just like that. And the bottom cap stays on the handle, but this part slides out. So this part, this part screws into the top cap, but this is loose, so now it's a three-piece razor. But definitely, definitely a nice shaver. It's got an open comb, so it's got the teeth there for people with beards to shave more efficiently with. So I'll be using this, this razor for my shave. It's just a beautiful razor. I love the knurling on this razor and the finish, by the way. And I'll be using a Gillette Nasset blade, which is a, one of my favorite blades to use. And this is a stainless steel blade. So the blade I'll be using has two uses. So this will be like, oh, uh, I'll probably be pushing it, probably the third use. <clears throat> and my brush of choice will be my rubber set uh, 153 vintage brush. And I put a new, actually it's a newer, newer knot, it's a Maggard's a Timberwolf synthetic knot. So this is a 22 millimeter knot, very, very nice knot, very, very, very soft. Kind of reminds me of the Kind of like the uh, Plosoff style knot, but with the, you know with that gray design there with the black ends. But very very nice, very 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 nice nice brush, and the lettering's on the bottom. Just a nice brush I use. I use this from time to time, so love to use this brush for my shaves. But let me go ahead and wash my face, guys. And I got a lot to talk about, so let me go ahead and wash my face. Two days worth of growth, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got my brush loaded up with the uh, SoCal Hipster. So let me go do that first pass, that first face letter here. So today's Saturday, uh, October 26th. Days are moving quick this year, so. I was un unable to do a shave video last weekend because I've been pretty busy. Worked about eight days straight, so didn't have time to do a video, just real tired. Normally I don't work that many days straight, but I work in a profession where I have to take call, in a medical profession where unfortunately that's where the cards fell. So my days off, I had to work on call, which was a bummer, but definitely have more money in my pocket from working that many days so it's it's definitely a give or take but I hope you guys are having a good Saturday because today is a beautiful day in Florida and it looks like hopefully a beautiful day where, wherever you guys are at yeah today is about 86 degrees outside and the humidity was actually coming down creeping down the last few weeks but it's actually going up again so hopefully it won't be going up too much 
because that will be like summer again, all over again in the next day or so, but it's been kind of warm. But I can feel the temperature kind of slipping a little bit, so that's always kind of nice, especially the humidity. When the humidity goes down, it's more bearable in Florida because as if you guys don't know, we have lots of humidity, high temperatures, so it's like a rainforest effect here in Florida. Or green, feels like a greenhouse down here some days. But hope you guys have a good weather wherever you guys are at. But today's very, very nice, very nice day so far. Today's Saturday morning, by the way. So this is my first shave of the day. My only shave of the day. So I'll be using the Gillette New and Improved Razor 1920s. And I did a lot of research on this razor. Couldn't really find much. There's a ser serial, serial number on the bottom plate underneath this top cap. And I tried to find any date codes, but I, from talking to people on the different shave forms, Badger and Blade, uh, Damn Fine Shave, uh, there's another one I, I, I went to. And most people seem to think this is about 1920s razor, so, and I, from looking at the serial numbers and comparing, it looks like it is. But definitely, definitely one of my favorite shavers. I do use my vintage razors to shave with every once in a while even though I like my modern razors, but this is a very nice shaver. So let me do that first pass here. This is an open comb razor, but such a smooth shaver though. This kind of reminds me in a weird way of my 34C Merker Recure razor. Especially if it had an open comb, or if they made an open comb version, because that's the way it shaves. It's just so smooth. So definitely, definitely nice warm weather here in Florida. <clears throat> I've been trying to find some. Actually, I've been trying to use some fall-inspired soaps lately, but. With the warm weather, I said, what the heck, I'll just use this soap, because I haven't used it before. And But this uh, SoCal Hipster is really a, a warm weather scent and soap. And like I said, I'm not sure when the South Southern Cal meetup was. I think it was maybe this year, maybe last year. But this is, from what I understand, the one of the official soaps from that meetup. But like all a &E soaps, very slick, nice, nice lather. <clears throat> all right, yeah, definitely, definitely nice and slick. So I haven't seen it, I haven't done a shave video in about, almost about two weeks, so I was looking forward to doing this video. I did put up a video yesterday on a place I went to, which is called the Timber Bay Automobile, Timber Bay Automobile, Automobile Museum. And I went there with my nephew, who's also a wet, uh, he's not a wet shaver, he's a YouTuber. and. We were happened to be watching him. Uh, his parents went out of town, so we watched him for the weekend. So I took him around some places to, ch to check out, to do some filming and stuff. And that was one of the places I ch I, that I did. And I put my video up last night of my visit there. So definitely check it out. It's a longer video. I think it's about 30 minutes, but I definitely edited out like a lot of footage. I made it a little bit shorter. Believe it or not, it was actually longer than that. So. But a lot of things to see there. A lot of cool vintage cars there. Mostly vintage cars from Europe were there. You know, from Czechoslovakia, France. But if you're ever down this way in Tampa, it's in Pinellas Park. 
and it's such a cool, cool automobile museum. And they even have a DeLorean outside, which is kind of cool. So I recorded that video, I believe, last weekend, or no, I'm sorry, a couple weekends ago. So I finally, finally edited, edited that video so you guys can see it, where you know how we went to that museum and all the sights and sounds there. But definitely check it out. But definitely check out this shave. Very, very nice shave. Got a little bit of a nick right there, but I think I wasn't paying attention when I was talking to you guys. But other than that, nice first pass. Definitely love that razor. Let me go ahead and rinse my face, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. My second pass. Got that brush loaded up again still. First pass was really nice. So the soap scents on this soap, pretty pleasant. Definitely a pineapple type vibe, I can tell, just by doing the face lather. But I'm really starting to like the A&E soaps. Very nice soaps. Uh, Peter Cartalis is awesome. Awesome soap maker. Just an awesome dude in general. I know he likes. I know he makes a lot of soaps for different uh, shave meetups, including the South Florida White Shavers, which is coming up end of the year bash in November. So. I believe they made a soap for that meetup, so definitely, definitely be cool to check that one out too. But he made one called Project C, which is one of the first A&E soaps he made for self wish shavers, and that is my favorite soap to use, one of my favorite soaps from them. That and the one I picked up from Pastures Pharmacy, which is called New York NYC, which is a nice Fougere type scent, if you like that kind of scent, definitely grab it. I'm not sure if they sell it on his website anymore, but I think they still have it at Pastor's Pharmacy. But definitely this is a nice soap. Like I said, nice, fresh, warm weather scent. And the scent notes, I wrote them down so I can kind of read you guys scent notes. So they describe the scent notes as being pink, peppercorn, pineapple, banana, Passion fruit, mango, cade, oak moss, sandalwood, uh, cedarwood, and musk. So definitely a nice little assortment of scents right there. But definitely the first thing you smell when you lather this thing up is pineapple. Just a nice fruity scent. But it kind of does get complex as you... Does, does that... You do, you do smell a lot more of the scent, different scents are like the banana... And I can smell maybe the oak moss and sandalwood as I'm lathering along. So the scent really does come out when you lather your brush, when you lather your face. But let me go do that second pass uh, across the grain here. Yeah, definitely Peter makes great scented soaps. I love his scents. Yeah, definitely a. It's kind of weird. I don't see any citrus notes in the scent in the scent description, but I can smell a little bit of citrus. So it's kind of weird that it does come out somehow. The citrus part, but I can definitely smell the pineapple, the banana, the oak moss. Definitely the fruit scents. I can smell a little bit of sandalwood too. So definitely a unique scented soap. And I don't think I'll be using this just for for summertime. I think I'll be using this for wintertime. The winter and fall, because this one smells fabulous. And I just watched, just 
This morning I woke up and I watched a couple of videos from some fellow wet, wet shaver YouTubers. And I want to give a shout out to She Shaves with Jill. Happy birthday, Jill. I had no idea you're 70 years old. You look a lot younger than that. But hope you have a good birthday. Hope you had a fabulous birthday. Enjoyed it. And I think he used it. I think he, she used that soap, the Dead Sea soap from Razor Rock, which is one of my favorite soaps that I used to have, that I used up a long time ago. What great choice. Alrighty, so anyway, nice second pass. Very, very nice, nice scent of soap. Like I said, the complexity of the scent list, the different scents come out as you're shaving, so you don't just smell the pineapple that you smell right off the bat when you face it. You start smelling like the other types of scents coming out. So it's definitely a, a different type of soap, different kind of scent, scents coming out. So it makes it definitely unique. Let me go and rinse my face, guys. Be right back. All right, guys, back to my last pass uh, against the grain. And I got a lot of soaps left on this brush, so let's go ahead and do that face other here. Yeah, this is definitely a nice brush. It's a smaller knot, 22 millimeter, but definitely holds enough lather for three, three good passes, so. So I love this, this Magras Timberwolf knot. I wanted to put a bigger knot in this handle, but unfortunately the, the knot that I, I had another Magras knot, it wouldn't fit. It was a 24 millimeter, but I ordered a 22 millimeter Timberwolf and it fit in this handle, so, which I'm so happy it did because I love the look of this handle. The nice gold bottom with the black top, the black leathering, just a, just a really cool looking handle. Yeah, I found this handle at a estate sale. It had an old knot in there, like an old bore knot. Pretty grimy condition, I just took it, I took it home with me and uh, cleaned it up pretty well, polished it up, so I got it looking pretty, pretty decent looking for a vintage brush handle. So definitely, definitely great knot, great Timberwolf knot if you're looking for a nice soft, different kind of synthetic knot. Check out Maggards, they have that Timberwolf knot which is phenomenal. Yeah, look at that, plenty of ladder for his third pass. Just going to paint that on there like that. So anyway, I'm sure you guys know, but Gillette released a razor, a certain razor on Amazon, and it's a big deal because it's their first safety razor they released in 30 years. So they right as of right now, I think it, it might be sold out right now, but a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, it was a it was a pre-order for. Uh, a safety razor that was inspired by uh, 19, I think it was a 1929 design, but it's called the um, Gillette Her Heritage, Heritage, Heritage Inspired Safety Razor. That's the name of the razor. So it's it's inspired by that 1929 design, and it's chrome plated and it's a closed comb. So it looks kind of like this razor in a way. That's why I'm using this razor today. Sort of like this. The knurling's a little bit different, but it has the same type long handle with the, you know, the same style looking handle. I don't think it's a two piece, I think it's a three piece, actual three piece where you have the, the handle, the top cap, bottom cap that comes off. 
but it comes in a real handsome looking case, a brown leather, it looks like a leather case from what I see on their website or on the Amazon website. But it was $34.99, they're re releasing it, and it doesn't go out, so you have to pre-order, it doesn't go out till, till after November 1st. But I jumped on that, there's a, been a big buzz about that razor, and look, you know what, let me just show you the pictures of it. So stand by, and here's the pictures of that razor coming right up. Yeah, anyway, you can tell it's a very, very handsome razor, but definitely, definitely can't wait to get it in the mail. I ordered, ordered, ordered one, but it was kind of, I think I think Gillette just wanted to s test the waters and see if there was any interest in it. But when I checked the website a couple weeks ago, it, it, it didn't have anything about limited quantities, but a few days later, I saw that they placed on the Amazon site uh, limited quantities and today I checked it says not not available right now so so definitely it has sold out so I'm not sure if they're gonna release it again hopefully they will maybe maybe even even in stores if there's that much interest in that razor But it's chrome plated. It's not exactly brass, but nevertheless, just nice to see Gillette release a safety razor, a modern type safety razor, or safety razor in modern times, even though it's inspired by a 1929 design. But but Gillette does make safety razors, or has other companies make them with that Gillette under their under their name across the pond in other countries so but most of the cheaper ones like the the seven o'clock I believe maybe the knack but for them to release a, a razor that looks like something from the 1929s with that nice brown leather case I am definitely, definitely, definitely excited about getting it in the mail, so. And from, as far as I know, it's only, it's, only, it's only being released on Amazon, so. But definitely check it out. They, they might release maybe more, but it's called the Gillette Heritage Inspired Safety Razor. But definitely, definitely can't wait to get this in the mail. And kudos for Gillette for releasing this. Like I said, first safety razor released in the United States in 30 years. I believe the last one they made was like the Gillette Tech, maybe the, uh, the Black Handle Super Speed. I think that was the last one they made in the States here about 30 years ago, so. All right, let me go into Gills here. Against the grain. But if it shaves anything like this razor here, I'll be pretty happy. guys that's my shave uh, let me go rinse my face and I'll be back for the pro save all right guys back for my post shave so I don't have the aftershave that matches this soap but since I'm gonna keep keep up with the warm weather type scent I'm gonna be going with uh, Panade Club and Citrus Musk so this this is a alcohol based aftershave with a citrus type scent on it it's actually called a cologne uh, Ida Colone, if I can say it, I'm not saying it right. I'm not very good at French, but let's go ahead and try this out. But definitely a nice little scent, uh, citrus scent, since it's kind of warm out there. So let me go ahead and.
put this on. All right, so. Yeah, definitely feels nice. Yeah, like I said, the uh, SoCal Hipster had a little bit of a citrus type vibe in it that I can smell. So I decided to go with this, which is a citrus type cologne. So anyway, guys, my recap is going to be the Ariana and Evans uh, SoCal Hipster. Great, great soap. Love the scent. Definitely, definitely a def definitely a unique uh, fruit type scent. But you know what? It, it's kind of weird because it, it definitely evolves as you shave with it, as you lather your face with it. So definitely, you definitely can definitely smell the different scent notes as you lather your face. So that's my soap that I used for the shave. Uh, used my Gillette New and Improved Vintage City Razor. So 1920. Uh, beautiful razor. I just got a very, very nice baby, baby, baby bottom smooth shave. So this is a great razor, by the way. I love the club. It's an open comb, but man, this thing gets me great shaves. Just a beautiful looking gold finish. I love this razor. So hopefully that new Gillette inspired razor will look similar to this. I think it looks like from, from the pictures, even though it's chrome plated, has the same kind type of handle. So, but it's closed comb. So probably be a more mild shaver than this would be, but if it shaves anywhere close to this, I'll be very happy with that razor. Brush I used was my rubber set. Uh, non 153 brush with the Maggard Timberwolf Knot. So, great, great knot. I love this Timberwolf Knot. Definitely nice and soft. Definitely produces a lot of lather. Definitely not too, not too pricey too. I think this knot was maybe less than 10 bucks from Maggard's. But definitely try this if you like. If you're looking for a nice synthetic type knot, that's definitely unique. But more like a Plasson type knot, which which I definitely like. So great, great brush. And last but not least, that was the third use of this blade, which was a Nasset, uh, Gillette Nasset stainless stainless steel blade, and it still delivered a great shave. So that'll probably be the last time I use that blade. But definitely that that certain blade, but. Definitely, definitely a great shave this with this blade. This is one of my top blades. This is probably one of my top five blades. I just love this uh, Nasset, Nasset brand of blade. So anyway, guys, that's my shave. I hope you have you guys have a good weekend, and you guys have great shaves. And I will see you guys later. And thank, thank you guys for subscribing. I see new subscribers on my channel, and I've definitely noticed the likes and subscribes. Thank you, thank you guys. I love doing these videos. Uh, check out my other content, my other uh, adventures out there, my exploration content around Florida, which I love to do too. So definitely check that out. And I will see you guys soon. And you guys have a good day. Take care.